Welcome to Great Quartets. I'm your host, Grady Kerr, and in this edition, we're going to feature the incomparable Buffalo Bills. And he sin in sin, sin. Where is the good in good? Light a rose, I'm home again, Rose. To get the sun back in the sky. Light a rose, I'm home again, Rose. About a thousand kisses shy. Chapel bell chime, ding dong ding, at the least suggestion, I'll pop the question, light a rose, light a rose from the music man. This serves as a national anthem for almost all barbershop harmony singers. It's probably the most well-known barbershop song, so it's fair to say that the Buffalo Bills are probably the most well-known barbershop quartet. Their role in The Music Man was certainly important, but the Bills were pretty famous prior to that. They formed on September 20th, 1947 in Buffalo, New York. Their big sound and natural blend was obvious from the start, but they had trouble coming up with a name. It was during a performance for the Buffalo Quarterback Club that the MC ad-libbed their introduction as the Buffalo Bills, and the name stuck. Like any new quartet, they decided to compete. They placed 16th in the 1948 International in Oklahoma City, won their district contest in the fall of that same year, and then in 1949 they placed 6th at the International conveniently held in their own hometown of Buffalo, New York. They were becoming very popular, doing lots of shows and building quite a fan club. But soon, original baritone Herschel Smith had to leave the quartet for a job promotion and a move to Madison, Wisconsin. I am lonesome for you. Unable to find a replacement with just months to go before the International prelims, the Bills broke up. Luckily, with just weeks to go, they found Dick Graves, a barbershopper for less than a year. He quickly learned 13 of the Bills' songs, and they successfully qualified for the 1950 International. A lot of the credit for the Bills' success was due to an outstanding arranger by the name of Phil Embry. He was able to tailor arrangements to perfectly fit their unique voices. Thanks to these arrangements, their big sound seemed to come naturally. The Bills consisted of tenor Vern Reed, a natural full voice tenor, and an executive for a boys club. Lead Al Shea, he was a city of Buffalo policeman. Baritone Dick Grapes, a salesman for a paper company. And bass Bill Spangenberg, a truck driver for a steel company. They showed up in Omaha for the 1950 International Contest with a large following, and they were ready to sing. Many have said that once they started the first song with a customized introduction of Hi Neighbor, it was all over. There was no one else even close that year. In contests that year, the Bills sang Goodbye Old Dixie Goodbye, a Swanee medley, Going South, When I'm Walking With My Sugar Down Among the Sugar Cane, My Gal Sal, and this song, Roses of Picardy. Roses are shining in Picardy, in the hush of the silver, silver dew. Roses are flowering in Picardy. 
They were awarded the gold medals that week, earning the highest score of any previous champion. Like you, are all like you. With the Buffalo Bills being crowned the 1950 International Quartet Champions, a new era for the Young Barbershop Society had begun. In old, In old Savannah, I said, I said Savannah, the weather there is They soon nice began recording albums for Decca Records. The climate's of a southern brand, but here's what I don't understand. They've got, They've got a gal there, a pretty, a pretty gal there, who's colder than an Arctic storm, got a heart just like a stone. Even ice men leave her alone. They call. They were also asked by special services to tour a military post. The bills traveled to Germany, France, Austria, Japan, and Korea. Bird Reed once wrote, I wish I could accurately describe the impact of our experiences touring the military groups in 1951. In Korea, we spent a week with the fighting 999th right on the front line. We were with some ash people as they picked up the wounded. We sang for those same GIs later in the hospital. She's hard-hearted Hannah, the vamp of Savannah GA. A few years later, a popular radio host by the name of Meredith Wilson was developing a musical play about his hometown. He was very impressed by a recording of the Bills and played them on his radio show. Brother, she's a polar bear, he often announced to his audience that the Bills were his favorite quartet. It's her delight, they say. An evening spent with Hannah sitting on your knees is like traveling through Alaska in your BBD. Although not in his original plans, he included a barbershop quartet in his play. Wilson was inspired by the memory of a hometown quartet from his childhood days known as the Rusty Hinges. After hearing the Buffalo Bills live, he invited them to audition for the part. The year was 1957, and Al Shea remembered the audition this way. The final audition was held in the Imperial Theater, and all four of us were a bundle of nerves. The only light was a work light that made the shadows out front all the darker. The producer said, sing something, anything you want. Bern Reed remembered, we cracked that awful silence with Alexander's Ragtime Band. Oh, my honey, oh, my honey, better hurry and let me under. Ain't you going, ain't you going to the leader man, drag the leader man. As soon as we started to sing, the nervousness was gone, and it was just like the same as any other place. Grand stand, grass band, ain't you coming along? It's the best band in the land. They can play a biblical call like you never heard before. So natural that you want to go to war. That's just the bestest band, what am my honey lamb? Come on along, come on along. Let me take you by the hand. Up to the man, up to the man, who's the leader of the band. And if you care to hear the Swanee River play, in rank time, come on and hear, come on and hear Alexander's rank time. After the first song, they found that all the theater stagehands, office workers, and cleaning women had stopped work to listen. That applause was something special. It was Meredith Wilson who came up on stage with a big smile and a handshake and welcomed them to the cast of the Music Man. Oh, that's right here in River City. Right here in River City. With a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. Yep, they had trouble. Going professional pool 